Welcome to the Hostar. I'm your host, Mark Southern. By golly, got another big day of championship wrestling for you. Opening bout, we'll see rookie sensation DK Moore taking on Crisis. And then we got the Battle of the Justins. It's just the main event with Miss Hyde in the corner. We'll be taking on Justin Daniels. And then our main event of the day is Jackson Palace making his Hostar debut, taking on Apex Prime. That's right, Apex Prime in the main event today. We also got a very special vault segment and a lot more and big announcement coming here today on the Hostar. We're going to get to it after this timeout. We'll be right back. Our state community bank. Since we opened our doors back in 1954, we've grown a lot, but we remain true to our roots. We believe in helping our local economy grow and thrive. We believe in giving back, and we believe that when it comes to banking, People should always come first. You work hard, so we work hard. What matters to you matters to us. First State Community Bank. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to American High School Championship Wrestling September to Remember. Coming to you tonight from Charleston, Missouri. I'm Alan Lynch tonight here with guest commentator for the evening, the Executive Vice President of the American High Style Championship Wrestling, West Coast Mike Angel. Mike, it's good to have you tonight. Alan, I appreciate you having me on. I don't do this very much, but I always enjoy doing it. Uh, thank you for stepping in for Buster as he's celebrating a night with some old wrestling friends of his down in Memphis. It's been a long time coming for him. Mean, he'll have a story for us when he gets back and tell us all about it. That's for sure, man. Big day for Buster and a lot of the Memphis legends. Absolutely, and man. So it's a great guys that paid it forward to these guys doing it today. Right. Right. Mike, we've got a big first open match here tonight in Charleston, Missouri. We have DK Moore versus Crisis. I tell you what, that, that big that kid there, he has uh, he's got a lot of fire in him. He is uh, rapid, quick, agile, lightning. Crisis, dangerous. I have seen Crisis work before. Very dangerous, as you said. Uh, a little maniacal. Uh, got a bit of a bad side, so I'm interested to see how this, what what DK Moore can do here tonight to keep him back. Yeah, he definitely, uh, definitely put some fire on DK Moore. He, uh, DK Moore gets. Back. Stepping up. They're already Price is doing dirty work on DK Moore. Coming in, stepping on the toe of DK Moore, grasping that side headlock now. Normally, what they do, you know, when they try to slow down a fast man, you take his feet. That's it. If they don't have feet up on him, they can't move. Yeah, that right. There you go. Price is already doing dirty. Crisis up in the corner telling the crowd to hush. Ooh, big chop there to the chest. Crisis. That's going to be the mark. Absolutely. Up and over. Crisis goes head first into that one. Rolls him out. Oh, big chop. Stand it. Really no soft spot of, of a wrestling no, ring, but there's nothing soft about wrestling. 
that, that ring apron, there's definitely no give in that. And now Price is delivered the top of his own. BK Moore kind of reminds me a little bit of uh, Seamus in the skin tone area. So, you know, anything he gets hit with is going to leave a mark. That's, that's true. The battle scars will definitely show. Oh, absolutely. After this match on, on BK Moore. Oh, he's working that arm. Price is pulling that arm to DK Moore, it looks like. He is just blowing off the ref. Stevie, Stevie will take so much, and then Stevie will step in and do his job. Stevie's been doing this a long time now. Snap there, coming out. Ooh, delivers that big kick to the spine of Moore. Comes in with a big stomp to the right shoulder. He's working that whole right side of DK Moore right now, and he's weakening the man, so. Crisis knows what he's doing, he's picking the part. Steps on the ankle of DK there. Lays on the arms, steps on the he, right hand. He is like, like you said, now they're picking him apart. Oh, look at that. Look at that. I, I, I believe that would have done me in. There's a peak out there. Out of nowhere, I'm standing room small. That was sharp. Very impressive there from Crisis. DK showing a little hope there in Crisis. To the, to the mid -side. and takes right back over. Now DK showing some more life. Price is just picking up our DK more body everywhere. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, yeah. Impressive move. Okay. Impressive quickness there from DK. Oh, oh man. Good reversal. Wow. As I was about to say, a unique pin there from, wow. from DK Moore. The Price is able to move right back around and get a pinfall of his own. Only got a, to the count of two. Crisis comes in with a big, heavy clothesline. Took his head off. Now he's going for the choke. This is good. Just, just maniacal. Move that by man Price. is picking him apart. I just don't know if there's going to be anything left for this man to finish the match. Back nope. to the corner. Takes the arm. First and more. Oh, here we go. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That's the side of the score. Oh, Price is there. That kid is everywhere. Price may not know where he's at right now. Amazing. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. there for Crisis. Slows down more there. Now both men laid out flat in the center of the ring. The referee begins his count of ten. DK Moore put a move set together I've never seen. He hit six spots in the ring in four moves. That's impressive. It is, and once again, it, it goes back to that quickness that you had mentioned at the beginning of this match. Oh, for real. Yeah, both men going blow for blow here. Crisis getting delivered from him. The midsection, DK delivers one of his own. Crisis thought he had. Congratulations to rookie sensation DK Moore picking up the victory here in the opening bout on the Hostile. Hey, we're going to take a quick timeout. We'll be back with more Hostile action. Hey, are you doing the jailhouse rock and would much rather be having a house party? You can call Moss Bell Bonds at 573-359-4935 or 573-353. 2916. They're available 24 hours a day. Also having a payment plan and credit cards accepted. You can make bail one minute from jail. Freedom loss, call Moss. Ladies and gentlemen, this next matchup is going to be between Justin Main Event with his valet, Miss Hyde, against a newcomer making his debut to American Hostile Championship Wrestling.
wrestling too legit Justin Daniels. more earlier and the potential of him and also Apex Apex Prime and, and two legit Justin Daniels another one that has shown a lot of potential uh, young cap to the business he's only been in a few years but he has been champion at, at many different organizations across the mid south and so in, in, in Mississippi and in Arkansas and in Tennessee uh, he has been he has been a tag team champion before and so now, you know, making a debut here at American Hostile in Charleston, Missouri. Big, uh, big debut here. He's a stud. He's looking like a stud. I tell you what. He's Just, a man that works on his body. Justin Main Event is prone to get down and dirty. That knee brace worries me. Um, yeah, the, the one thing is that that knee brace is definitely. And now Justin Main Event is, is telling referee to check that knee brace to make sure that, that Too Legit doesn't have any kind of forward objects yeah. stowed away inside that brace. Referee signals for the bell. And this match is now official here between the two Justins. Exactly. And you need to watch Miss Hyde tell her what she'll do. Because she... I didn't see her come out of that yet, but uh, I have seen her crack a skull too. Goes grabs the rope. Oh, look at that spin. Okay. Now okay. Two Legit takes back over. That's a 200 over main event. That's a 200 over main event. That's impressive. Right, impressive. Wow. wow. This is an arm drag there. Okay, now. The crowd here getting behind Two Legit and this eye over here in the face is telling him to shut up. For the wrong person. Now, main event. Too, too legit. Now, it looks like the main event is going to put that knee straight over the throat of Too Legit. Trying to slow things down a little bit. More of his liking. Now, it goes out. Looked like main event is going to. Look at that. Oh, he kicked him so hard he blew his foot out. Oh, look at, look at that. Oh, it was a set. Smart tactic from just the main event and this half, but nonetheless still dirty, um, but quite effective. That fooled me. I literally thought he kicked the big man so hard he broke his foot. You don't fool old West Coast easily, but he fooled old West Coast. I tell you what. I'll remember that when I signed his paycheck the end of the day. Right, executive Vice President of American Hostile Championship Wrestling. I might charge him ten dollars to pull one over on me. West Coast Mike Angel here on commentary tonight. Special guest commentator with us. I tell you what, I enjoy doing this, but I leave it to the pros like yourself. Oh man, you're too kind. Hey, I tell you what, this is not the easiest to do because there's a lot of things going on you gotta watch. So I call what I see and you see it all, and I just try to try to go in there when I can. Waiting for her next opportunity to interfere in this matchup and take advantage of the situation. And I just think if he pisses off Justin Daniel, there's no telling what the size of that guy can do to Justin Daniel Man if he makes the wrong move. No, and, and Mike, you make a good point there because I I've been lucky enough to watch two legit Justin Daniels uh, work a lot over the past couple of years in, in many different promotions. From, I believe he he's billed out of uh, 
believe he's built out of maybe I think it says Memphis. Memphis, Memphis. Okay. Yes. Been there a time or two. Yeah. So making a big debut here tonight. Now he's got he's got main events. Look at her, look at her. Did you see what she did? I, did. I cannot believe it. Doing what doing what a good guy will do. I'm, right? gonna, I'm gonna check American Hostile Vision Insurance and see if we can't get old Stevie some better vision. He might need some help though. Yeah, he might need some bigger glasses. Main event takes two of you and throws him out to the floor. Okay, she Ms. changed Hyder's her mind that time. Right beside him and Instead, she turned her back and walked away from two legit ass. Justin made a thing, came out. Hey, look, oh, now look you can't that. do this. There we go. You know what hey. they say, karma's up. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Smart move by. Wow. Smart move by two legit Justin Daniels. You know, there's no, move. she may have wanted to do that deep down inside. There's no telling how Justin made it. He may have not took her out to dinner. Rose. What? Two legit just rolled in. Is that jumped in? He ain't moving. And hit main event. Is just he the out main cold? event with the arcade. Drops him. Oh! Oh! Did you, did, did, right at right before the referee hit three. Miss Hyde he, interfered once again and the grabbed the leg of just the main event and pulled him, breaking up that pinfall. You know what, Al? I'm putting vision insurance on my docket to do this because this this referee is not seeing anything. Even with glasses. With glasses. He's still missing it. Unbelievable. You know now, what? I might just start putting places here. Let's get rid of this. Look at this. See what I mean? Once again. Unbelievable. Once again, main event playing that trick. Tell him too legit to, to wait just a second. And Ryder's legit. Let his guard up. She jumping in on him. Main event. What is going Pull the tights on? right into that second turn bubble. You know, Miss Hyde is wrestling in her last time. Oh, wow. What an RKO. Out of nowhere. Miss Hyde. No, oh, and that's it. That's it. Just the main event, picking up the victory there as Miss High with a little help. So main event gets the win. We'll take a quick timeout. We'll be right back with more championship wrestling. Hey, if you want a truck or a real fine car, Faulkner Auto Sales can get you cruising in any style. If Faulkners don't have it, they can get it. And if they can't get it, it's not even made. Go see Dwayne and Kevin at Faulkner Auto Sales on Truman Boulevard in Carrollsville or call 573-333-3800. And remember, if Faulkner's is not on the back of your vehicle, it damn sure ought to be. Mark Southern here with you, and we are about to have the drawing to see who won the tickets for the 6th anniversary show, the Show Me Showdown Throwdown in Kennedy, Missouri. That is next Saturday, but we're going to have that drawing. Right here, right now on the hostile. See who this lucky winner is. Sarah Lockthorpe, I believe how you pronounce it. So Sarah, you are the lucky winner. We'll be giving you a call this week and you will be going to the Show Me Showdown Throwdown. Congratulations. American Hostile Championship Wrestling and the UWA present Show Me Showdown Throwdown. That's October the 12th in Kennett, Missouri at the American Legion Building featuring WWE Hall of Famers Jerry the King Waller and Ricky Morton along with Downtown Bruno and Dangerous Doug Gilbert, Ohio Valley Wrestling Stars Freya the Slayer, Super Z, and Tony Gunn, AHCW Superstars Bullwhip Ballard, Tommy Too Good, Savage Brotherhood, and many more of AHCW Superstars. That's October the 12th, 2024 in Kenton, Missouri. Tickets go on sale August the 28th. Be there. Single 
leg dive day, but he wasn't quite close enough to get it. Lawler against Morton. Jimmy Hart in Lawler's corner. Rick Morton. Cautious. Considered a leg dive there, but uh, didn't go for it. Back in the corner. Referee is there, wants a break. Lawler starts with a hair pulling complaint. I think we mentioned that uh, handsome Jimmy was doing the same thing in his match. Lawler. Not only does he hold the uh, CWA World Heavyweight Championship belt, he also holds the World Championship complaining belt, if there was such a thing. Watch him. Yeah. Over to the referee. So I suppose you didn't see him pull my hair. Yeah. Didn't see any hair pulling at all, Jerry. I just saw a takedown by Rick Morton. This is a Lawler tactic. We've mentioned it before. Now there was some hair pulling, but it wasn't Rick Morton that pulled hair. It was Lawler that yanked his hair and pulled it down to the mat. He didn't do it. Jimmy Hart was standing up out of the chair and the referee counted him sit down. He's a started to say Lawler uses this uh, complaint tactic effectively because he gets the referee eventually maybe subconsciously watching a little more closely than he otherwise would and that lets uh, Lawler used some of his other tactics from time to time. We're three minutes into the match. This one goes to the expiration of time. Whoever has the most falls when the time runs out will be the winner of the match. Leg drop by Lawler. Converts that over to a step over toe hole. trying to calm him down. He said, wait a minute. He said, y'all, I'll kind of hold it down a little bit. Mm, Lawler drops on the leg again. Rick Morton not in a good position right there. Morton grabs Lawler. Trying to pull him down to the mat. Oh, I see Lawler is grinding a knuckle right into the side of the knee. Rick Morton. Trying to get back on his feet and Lawler smashed the side of that knee again. His boot. Right fist. Rick coming back five minutes into the action right now. Forearm by Lawler. Maybe with the armband too. 
Hart working on the knee. Our referee Paul Morton is warning Lawler about using the fist. And look at Lawler yeah. turn the yeah. whole thing around. He's the one that took the referee away and distracted him. Now he's telling him that Morton was kicking at Jimmy Hart. Side suplex. Yeah. Uh. Boy, Rick Morton has really taken a beating here. Lawler working on the knee first. The side suplex, the count of one. Shoulders up at the two count. Lawler thought he had himself a pin right there. But it was not to be as Rick Morton is still alive. Double leg guy, beauty. Morton using a fist himself. He finally had enough of getting knuckled by Lawler. Rick on his feet. Works a neck breaker, a cover, one. Two count, and Lawler is able to break it at that point. Thought maybe Rick was going to have an upset here. Over the king. Side headlock. Rick still favoring that left knee. Lawler really worked on it hard. Look, oh. Hold it right down. Give the devil he's due. Nice conversion by Lawler. It was. Boy, that knee can't be in good shape at all. It's been hit from the side, from the top. Lawler's been grinding a knuckle in it. We're at seven minutes right now. Seven minutes of the first fall. Rick Morton hanging in there. He's not giving it up. Crowd holler and we want Bill. Yeah. <laughs> Referring obviously to the superstar. I think this young fellow in the ring is doing a whale of a good job myself. Rick yes, Morton. Indeed. Boy, a lot of people would have uh, given this one up on submission long before now, but Rick Morton hanging in there. He whips Lawler into the rope. Over the shoulder, down to the mat, a cover. Two, and a two count is all he gets. Rick yanks him right back. And a one count. Hart up on the apron. Rick gives him a drop kick to put him on Look the that. floor. Dives at Lawler. Hart steps back up onto the apron. Oh, Rick missed the drop kick. Lawler seizes the opportunity, drops with the elbow. And the three count, it's it. Eight minutes, 20 seconds, 8.20, the win for Lawler in the first fall. What a Have you ever dreamed of becoming a professional wrestler? Let the Bluff City Wrestling Academy help you achieve your dream. Learn mat skills, techniques, psychology, and how to be a true professional wrestler. Email us at bluffcitypromotions1077 at gmail.com or call us at 731-443-0221. Bluff City Wrestling Academy. Your dreams begin today.
sustain several times. I'm ready to see what we got here. This should be a I'm gonna signal for the bell. I'm gonna do a little digging here shortly and see where this kid's from. Because uh, I'm here, I've heard some things about it. Two men circling around the ring, sizing up each other. Apex definitely has the size advantage in this match over Jackson, but and Jackson has quickness. Absolutely. I did, I did a little digging, Allen, and uh, I Googled Jackson Palace, and uh, you know where he's from? That's a, place that's a lot of place that a lot of people come from. But Apex Prime just ragged all that kid halfway across the ring. That's not a good start for Jackson Palace. No, I don't know what kind of strategy that Jackson can have coming into this match, but I would have to I would have to think it would Yeah, have you ever seen a Floyd Mayweather boxing match? I did. Floyd Mayweather, you know, one of the things that he would do is he would move. He would move around the entire yeah. time make it difficult for his opponent to catch up to him. And so, and you see there, as Jackson goes into Apex, Apex catches him, lifts him above his head, throws him down. And he just throw him all the way up over his head? He did. Oh, wow. He did. Lift his Apex, lift him. Jackson Palace all the way up over his head. Now rolls out to the floor. That's where he begins his count now. You know, Jackson Palace came in with a V on his forehead, and after getting dropped on the top looks like an X. Uh, yeah, he, he had exactly what did, what's the first thing he did. He went over to that bat. Yeah. Looks like he set it down. He set it back down. Maybe may be saying it's too early to go for that. That sort of tactic. That might be his only tactic. Okay, smart. Now, okay, now we're going to see the intelligence side of Jackson Palace. He goes for that drop hole hole. They pass goes into that second rope there. Now, Palace is delivering to the midsection of Apex Prime here. Takes his head, slams him into that top turnbuckle. Now delivers that big shoulder driver into the into the oh, midsection. Wow. Yeah, that one hurt. I heard it. That, that arm, that there my arm is stood up. You see that? Man, I do. Oh, goosebumps. Another big chop there across the chest of Apex Prime. I'm, I'm uh, kind of worried if uh, he gets chopped, he's only going to get decapitated. Might we may be seeing it coming here. Because oh. Apex oh, no. blocked that he's shot. He's setting him up for something. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Let's see. Well, he didn't get much of that, but it dropped him. That certainly may not have been the most effective, but it definitely did. Well, when your hands are the size of a catcher's glove, that ought to tell you something. Yeah. He shoots him across the ring. Now he just comes in, goes for that big slam. That's it, and that's probably it. No, he's still standing. Well, he is from parts yeah, unknown. Right. They breathe different air from parts unknown. They do. It may be a little... Who knows what that oxygen is mixed with the parts unknown. A little, bit of, a little bit of I cannot tell you. I don't I don't know what's next for Jackson Palace, but uh, I, I think he kind of pissed off Apex Prime. Look at that. Oh, yeah. He got him yeah. right in front of the rep. The rep. This drives those thumbs right into the eyes of Apex. Smart move by, by Jackson there. You better stay on him. You don't hit don't don't get off a big man down. You definitely stay on top of him. Yes, if you can get Apex down on the mat or across the road, it's the one thing, the, the last thing that you want oh, to do is allow him back up on the speed. And eight and Jackson Palace there. Just put the move to the ground. That could be it. Apex's face goes for that pinfall. Apex kicks out at two. He just ate a size 10 right to the jaw. Now Palace here going for this side headlock. Both 
man is still down on the mat. He is grinding in on that headlock, too. He is just putting all his weight into it. He is taking that airflow away from Apex. Uh, He's back to his feet, though. Cutting off the oxygen flow to the brain. Making new stupid things. Apex. Backs him up. Shoots him off. Comes off. Good night. Yeah, close line. Deliver that ground back. Close line. He hit him so hard, he bounced back up. Apex looks like he's playing any more games. Oh, he done pissed off Apex. Uh-oh. Runs across the ring. He's back. Looks for another big splash. You see, the first the first splash that Apex did, he jumped into the right. Watch the ring. It's about it's to move. move. It's shifting. The whole ring is moving. The entire ring is shifting there. Oh, he's done. Apex is done playing games. When he goes back home, they're going to send him back in parts. Yeah. Absolutely, that's, that's what happens when you go back home. The part's unknown because Apex is demolishing the Apex. Apex may be calling for it here. Uh oh. C goes around, uh-oh. picks him up. Uh oh. Where do we got? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, the referee got his back turned. Palace fights back. What happened? Looks like oh, he's like digging his back. Looks like Powers is going to be going for that pat there as the referee pushes traps in. Oh! Apex comes over looking for Powers. Powers delivers that barbed wire back. Oh! What? To the what face. just happened? Oh. That was it. That was a three. Jackson Powers picking up the victory with a little help from his friend, Mr. Bat. Hey, that's going to wrap it up on the Hostile Hour for you. Don't forget, next Saturday, Kent, Missouri, for the 6th anniversary Show Me Showdown Throwdown. What event that's going to be. Those tickets are on sale. So call the ticket hotline at 636-232-3313.